Hi folks, welcome to Paul Sherry RVs in Pickle, Ohio. Today I'm doing a little walk around video on the new redesigned Georgetown slash GT5. It used to be a 364 TS model. Now folks, it's called 36 B5, upfitted with the more right chassis. Made a few changes this year. Got a new slide system, new exterior look to the outside. Still on the 22 and a half inch tires with the aluminum rims, side view cameras, rear view cameras, V10, new cap in the front, got some LED light strips here, some LEDs there, uh, new automotive style windshields completely glued in with no um, rubber gasket around it. Um, the Georgetown emblem will light up up there, kind of cool. So there's kind of last year's looks. To this year's looks like i said a little bit of redesigning going on there um, i mentioned a little slide system uh, dynamax which is owned by forest river that makes big toter motorhomes uses this system there um, by uh looks like lipper components it's the the slim rack system very tough system there um, some of the other features that it has a high gloss gel coat that's built-in color to your fiberglass, frameless windows, um, slide on and covers. Inside here's gonna be your propane, another storage compartment. This one goes all the way through at the, at the top. This one's gonna be your 5,500 watt generator. Onan, which is now owned by Cummins. So you can also get them worked on at, um, say truck repair places, like freight liner type places that work on Cummins if you need any service work. Um, down here's your uh, dump station area, outside shower, your dump system here, your gate valves are up in the heated area. You also have heat pads on your holding tanks and on the elbows there, fresh water fill, tank fill, city water hookup and black tank rinse and a whole house um, water filter system. Also, they have improved the underneath side there fiberglass sealed up tight see how it rolls on them rollers underneath there that was fabric it get torn up over time nice solid fiberglass water's not going to get through if it splashes up <clears throat> come back here that's your bedroom slide gasoline fill big storage compartment goes all the way across right here 50 amp service solar panel hookup if you do primitive camping automatic switch box for your generator some of your electrical stuff there. Come back here. This model is going to have uh, two full bathrooms in it with three slide outs. So you're going to have two dump areas, one for this back bathroom, master bathroom, black and gray all in one area here as well, the black tank rinse, as well as a light inside there. All the LED lights on the back here, your backup lights, turn signals, etc. brake lights. 5,000 pound hitch with plenty of ground clearance here. You got a ladder going up top. Notice how the, uh, your backup camera is recessed in. And also in all Georgetowns, you have a fiberglass roof, which makes that roof just as tough as this sidewall. Pretty much got to get into a collision to damage that roof. Tree branches, dragging across, it's not going to snag it like you could do with the rubber roof of inferior products so it's one of my favorite coaches right here i think it's the best bang for the buck in the georgetown family um, you can sell this to families you can sell it to mom and pop grandma grandpa etc it's multi-use camper this is an access to your water heater bypass having two bathrooms you also have two water heaters there's your storage compartment going the other side propane hookup you want to grill out run off your main propane tanks right there's a quick connect this is going to be an access for plumbing here and to your um, fresh water drain, winterize, dual pump systems for both bathrooms so you don't lose um, pressure. There's your other water heater, access to the bypass on it, and I think there's a power inverter maybe in there. These are all rotocast, not going to rot out. Also have one-way drains in there. You can rinse them out. Lights in there as well. There's also two furnaces in this one. Back side of your fridge, larger TV this year, your outside speakers. A little bit of change this year too. They put 110 outlets inside here at the cord, 
plus a 12 volt hookup for charging phones and etc. Down inside here is going to be your batteries for the house and your jack system, your hydraulics there. Upfitted by Moride, they build the chassis, get it up off the main frame, make, make it quieter, straighter, um, just do a great job with it. You're going to have a three-step entry here, nice wide door, grab handles on both sides. As soon as you come inside, there's going to be a um, power inverter switch, your battery disconnect, and your entry lights. Kind of changed the countertops this year a little bit, made them straight across, added more drawers. Purpose of these videos just to give you a little better view that sometimes don't get with just the camera alone. Very nice furniture up here, padded, comfortable. Nice uh, low top view here, makes it easy to see tail lights in front of you. They've changed this to fiberglass instead of vinyl, so you can step right on it, not to worry about it. Up here's your reverse camera, Bluetooth, cockpit lights, speakers, radio. Has a subwoofer over there in the corner, you can shut on and off, the generator start and stop, USB 12 volt. You got cruise control up here on your steering wheel, wiper controls. Get over here, you got power heated mirrors, battery boost jump start, fog lights, and your automatic jacks right here from Lipper Components. And you'll have a power driver's seat. They also put rubberized like floor mat material on both drivers and passenger seats as well. You also have storage up above you here. You don't go quite all the way up because you do have a hidden bunk up here and we'll get to that in a minute. Let's pan around here, show you some of the changes in this newer model. This is basically everything that you're going to see in all the 18s but this is just slightly get titled as a 17. Come back over here, one of the big things. They got it called a one control here. Um, you can get it from Get this on your phone. You can get it on Android, Apple. Basically, little system controls all your lights and stuff when you come in and out here. Digital panel. Um, it's going to have all your books, your owner's manuals in there, um, some of your light controls, um, troubleshooting videos, all that stuff. And you can get that on an app on your phone as well. Very cool. Um, back to here. Countertop extension they did not have before. It used to come out into this area. Had a limited amount of drawers. Made this straight across here. Put a new um, pull-down faucet in it. Same stainless steel sinks. Made more walking room. Made more room for bigger pots and pans underneath storage there. And added a couple more drawers. So that's an improvement. A larger TV up here. And your storage behind it. You got a microwave here by Furion that is also convection little storage above it and they have a new uh, um, countertop system that you've been seeing in a lot of the other forest rivers nice easy to use system works as a back splash gives you more countertop also this is glass tile work back here in the back very nice and you still get your oven kind of a new interior color in here that is a height of bed sofa uh, with two recliners on each end um, your previous cabinets used to be down there on an angle now they put them up here above this area, couch area and they fold that way nice catches on them windows on the ends of the slide on each end gives you a lot of um, cross breeze ventilation there when you're parked if you can see here above the dinette here here's your uh, day shade goes up nice and smooth and here's your nightshade very nice there again nice and smooth goes up uh, done a little bit of changes on your dinette they've made it a deeper dinette so you can sleep or sleep wider space and sit six people here this is the dream dinette it slides up and down on the wall cushions aren't quite in all the way got some storage underneath here as well a little bit different decor a little bit more rounded roof that they did not have before and here's the new controls for um, your heater, air conditioner, all that. Um, oh, one big thing here is uh, new air conditioners. These are Atwoods. They're a bigger presence. They are equivalent as an 18,000 BTU air up front here. And I believe 18 in the back, it could be 16,000 BTU. 
but they've definitely increased the size of the air conditioner. Last year was a house refrigerator in it. Now this is back to the RV refrigerator that runs off of propane and electric, which many of you are used to. This is the biggest gas electric refrigerator you can get made by Norcold. They call it the 18 Max. It's 18.3 cubic feet. Um, you don't need extra batteries. Don't need a power inverter. This run off of propane and electric. Built up the street here in Sydney, Ohio. Great job that they do. You come back through here. It's going to be your bunk area. Each one of the kids' bunks has a Furion television in there with its own DVD player and its own remote. So kids like that. Got a privacy curtain. Put them dead bed. Let them watch their movies. Three drawers down through there. Come back into this area. This is the master bedroom. Somebody's got the... Must have been looking under the bed. There is storage underneath there. Turn on some lights here so you can see. King size bed, a slide going that way. And then all of this in the beds all slide at once. Gives you lots of room. Lots of hanging closets there. Storage behind the television. More storage down here. And you have some big drawers right here. Put clothes and stuff in. So that's the master bedroom area back here. They kind of moved the shower from one side to the other. Put the skylight over there. Probably a little easier drain for the shower. I want to make so far a run. Nice place for storage, towels and stuff in there. Ample countertop. Pocket door to close that off. Very cool. Like I said, one of our best sellers. One of the best bang for the buck here. Also come up into here um, is... The other bathroom, which I believe this shower for circumference has a uh, more area than the other shower. It's one piece fiberglass as well. Big skylight, medicine cabinet, sink, foot flush, toilet, porcelain on both of them. So very, very nice. Pan down through here again, give you this area. Nice improvements. Got the bow floor, it's not slippery when it's wet, won't crack or shrink. King Jack antenna, all LED lights. I'm going to show you one handed how easy it is to do this front bunk. One hand here, pull the other end down. There is your bunk, up to 200 pounds. See if one person there, two here, pack two in there if you had to, your bunks. Very, very roomy. Huge bang for the buck. 153, 672 on sale right now. 108, 570. What a great deal. Includes prep, propane, ready to roll. No extra crazy fees. Have any questions or concerns? Feel free to give us a call. Thanks for watching. Shopping for an RV can be very difficult. There's so many makes and models to choose from. And how do you ever know if you're gonna get a good deal on what you're buying? My name is Mike Sherry and I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. Our goal is to make your RV buying experience as fun and painless as possible. And of course, provide you with the best deal in the market. But don't take my word for it. Go online and read all of our reviews from happy customers of ours. Feel free to call, email, or chat into us with any questions you might have.